Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today I'm going to talk about what information regarding Call of Duty Black Ops 3 we're going to be receiving at E3 this year. And if you didn't know, the convention is in a couple of days. I'm going to have all the information that you need to know down in the description of this video. But anyways, at the past E3 events, we would only receive a piece of Call of Duty information. Like, it's usually the campaign gameplay. Like, you would only be able to watch a mission from the campaign and literally nothing else. But for Call of Duty this year, we're not only going to be able to see campaign gameplay, we're also going to be able to see multiplayer gameplay and everyone that's going to go to E3 is going to be able to play Black Ops 3 for the first time. So there's probably going to be a bunch of news articles writing their experience about Black Ops 3 and what they think of the game. So I'm really interested to see what their opinions are about the game. And we're also going to find out if Black Ops 3 DLC will be PlayStation exclusive or not. And we're also going to find out if Activision did resign their contract with Microsoft or not. And that's something we've all kind of been holding our breath for because I, uh, I know a lot of people that are, have been deciding what next gen consoles to get. Because they obviously want to go with the console that's going to get the DLC early. So I am very curious to know what decision Activision is going to go with for this year's Call of Duty. And I'm sure that David Von Nehar is going to be doing a lot of question and answers with the crowd. Or some way the developers are going to interact with the crowd and take a couple of questions that the people have about the game. And it's probably going to be revealed to us if Black Ops 3 will be coming out for both next gen and current gen consoles. And in my opinion, I think it will be for both current gen and next gen. But the thing is, I think another developer is going to develop the game for the old consoles and Trek will be the ones to develop the game for the next gen systems and I'm serious like we're gonna get so much information regarding Black Ops 3 this year it's gonna be so crazy guys I hope all of y'all are excited for E3 this year and Call of Duty Black Ops 3 in general I think Black Ops 3 is gonna be a really good game because for one it's Trek they, they haven't made a bad Call of Duty yet and I know David Von Nehar is very passionate for the Call of Duty community and he wants the game to be fun and enjoyable for all of us so again guys all the dates for E3 are in the description of this video all the information you can go find it down below and let me know what you guys think of Black Ops 3 so far and then once you have watched the E3 event or once you've been caught up with all the information that's been revealed to us at E3 I'm gonna check back with you guys to see what y'all think and uh, if you change your minds about the game or not so don't forget to do that guys and also please drop a like if you guys did enjoy and make sure for the latest Call of Duty Black Ops 3 news your most information thank you for watching my name is Mr. Reavers hope you guys have a great day till next time I'll catch y'all later